Hi, if you're seeing this, then uh, you may have seen my review for my thoughts on all four episodes, minus episode five, which, to be honest, I haven't even made the review yet. You're watching this before I even make that video, but I won't release this until I post a review talking about my thoughts on only the four episodes, because as soon as I'm done recording this reaction, and, and I would pretty much have thoughts on five episodes, but I'll just talk about my thoughts with the four, first four episodes, similar to with Obi-Wan Kenobi, only the, that I only talked about my thoughts on the first two episodes, minus episode three to four, just similar to that, which, why am I, why shouldn't, why am I, like, just, I'm a bit, I'm just, just, I don't know how to explain it, I have trouble just explaining these type of things. So, enough chit chat, time to watch episode five, Mean Green and Straight Poured Into These Jeans. Is that supposed to rhyme? Anyways, hello, everyone. Back to another she reaction. And uh, like I said earlier, screw the chit-chat. Time to watch episode 5 because I'm, I'm, I'm just craving for these episodes. No no, no other reason. So, so yeah, just uh, you'll you'll see this reaction right after I post a review about my thoughts on the first four episodes, which I have not made, but I will. What? I will after uh, sometime this, this week. I don't know when. Still, though. You'll, yeah, I won't post this until I post a review for the first four episodes. Anyways, that's now watch the episode. I can't help myself with that. I feel like Titania is getting her back for this, and that just that this isn't an actual brand thing, but that she just—I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Like she's gonna need to get a lawyer, and what's funny is that she's also a lawyer. Let's hope Titania's lawyer isn't Matt Murdock, cause uh, that's gonna be tricky. The how did that even happen in the first place? She hook up. Oh. First was the attorney for hire, now that. Okay, how did this even happen in the first place? Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's absolute cap. Like, just for real though, how did this happen in the first place? You crushing that stapler just proves that you're not over it. That you're not completely over it. Like, you're, pr you're pretty much pissed about it. Oh, Iron Man sneakers. I wonder if Marvel's actually going to market those in real life. I, I don't know. It would be cool to have Iron Man sneakers. I mean, I have an Avengers hat. This is big brain time. Big time. Nick, Nick, Nick. Man, so Pug, Pug's such a likable character. Let's just hope he isn't revealed to be a bad guy, because that's what 3C Films is worrying about. <laughs> oh, please don't be revealed to be a bad guy. I seriously like this dude. He's a likable dude. Why hasn't Pug got his own hashtag thing on Twitter? I mean, Madison with one Y and two two N's and one Y, but it's not worrying you. <laughs> <laughs> so though, why does she get a hashtag? Like, can we give Pug his own hashtag, please? Twitter? We are not cops. Okay. Okay. Okay, well that just happened. Oh my god, he's got it all spelled wrong, but like all the merch. I will literally spend all my um, I will spend all my money just to have all that in my hands. Thor! I got a freaking Thor hammer! Except that one's huger than this one. This one's a little. Damn it! <laughs> oh man, the hammer though, just. Whoever. Whoever. Whoever is worthy, she'll possess the power of Thor. I, I don't know if I'm saying, but. 
Okay, the branding's a bit wrong. Like, why is Hulk purple? He's green. He's freaking green. Just still, so I would buy. I would buy the merch, even though it's not completely right. Like that's the shield. The sh hold. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. The freaking shield's not right. It's not looking like this. Like it's this part silver and just. I mean, this is, this is, not, like, just, it's in, the color, I mean, the red part's right, but, like, it's in the red right hair. <laughs> oh okay, even though the merch thing is not looking right, I would still buy it, though, because just, holy moly, that hammer, that hammer! Rejected. What? She's one of the top two ones, sir. Yeah. Well, she will be in Avengers soon, in the King Dynasty and Secret Wars. I can still see you. <laughs> I love these two. I wonder if they're going to become a thing. Oh my god. So, did Doctor Strange have to trademark his name? Did Thor? He chose two examples of people who use their own Nice suit, Shrek. I'm so. Literally, when I said last reaction, everything is pretty much just practically our world. Everything's canon in there. Like, just. Just. Like, a, like just. Everything's just canon in there. I, I don't know how to explain it, but like, Shrek movies are officially canon in the MCU. Plus, they, everyone was just making fun of her for looking like Fiona from Shrek. So though, I feel like that, that I, I, I can't believe they even referenced Shrek. Oh my god, she's starting to get on my nerves. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> oh crap. Oh my god. Is the hat convention in town? Who's this dude? Yes, for the King Dynasty and Secret Wars. When can 2025 get here sooner? I, I can't wait any longer. Yep, literally by blood. Oh boy. What the hell? Oh, sh**. That could possibly be a villain, the way he was asking those weird questions about her abilities in the last episode. Yeah, definitely no touching. You were acting real sus last episode. Oh my god, this is embarrassing for her. Oh, all of them are there. Especially the one that had just left her in the last episode. I didn't think we'd see this guy again after the last episode. Like the same people or the same person. AKA She Hulk. Damn. Wait, did she win the case? Let's go. Suck on that, Titania. This is How does she even 
get out of prison. This dude took the biggest L ever. And just, just, he just took the biggest L. Just, that seriously hurt, man. Look, Walters. That extremely attractive man sat in there. You can do better. You deserve better. Yeah, you deserve better. That dude took the biggest L in, the, in MCU history, let's just say that. Hey! Oh, yeah, my clothes. Oh, yes! Is she gonna get a new suit? Ooh, I wonder what that. I wonder what that could be. Oh, I, I don't think that I'll really have an occasion. Just say thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Oh, hey, what is that? Kinsley, does client confidentiality mean nothing to you? <gasps> oh, oh! Ladies and gentlemen, the Devil of Hell's Kitchen returns into the MCU in the next freaking episode! Let's go! Even seen this? He tell, tell, he tell me he's seen this. I don't I don't, I don't know if he's seen the next. Oh hey, looks like he probably got those Jordan shoes, those Iron Man shoes. Is that a Deadpool show? <laughs> this episode was like kind of as short as the episode two, but like this episode was seriously a good one. Oh my god, oh my god, the Devil of Hell's Kitchen returns into the MCU next episode. <laughs> Oh, I'm ready, man. I'm ready for Charlie Cox to come back as the- Oh my god! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I just- uh, Marvel Studios presents! Uh, Kevin Feige Productions! What, what, what's the- what's the freaking post Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on. Shoot the turn to get law! No post -crazy? Said that each episode would have a post credit scene. So, oh crap. Okay, time's up. Uh, I gotta go clean up the house, but uh, The Love Hell's Kitchen returns into the MCU next episode of Shield, baby. And with that being said, that is my reaction for Marvel's Shield, Shield, concerning it live, episode 5. Alright, I gotta go. Peace out.